In this video, I will tell you how to customize the Zotero plugins, Better Biptech, Zot file, and MD Notes. So I will start by opening Zotero. Once Zotero starts, I will click on Zotero menu and then go to preferences. In preferences you can see there are many tabs. The last one is for better Biptech. Here in this tab, we are interested in changing the citation key format. So what we will do is, the first part we want our author, but not in lower case, we want it in sentence case. In the middle, I want year to be inserted. And at the end, I want the short title of the paper. So here by default it will be taking three words but I want only one word from the title of the paper. So I will do it one underscore one. The digit after the underscore means that one word will be capitalized. That is the first letter of the first word will be capitalized. I will show you later what this citation key format means. So in the other tabs, we will not touch anything, we will keep it as it is. So let me close this better Biptech settings now. Next we will go to tools and click on Zot file preferences. In the Zot file preferences, we will change the location of the files. That is the PDF files of the manuscript. So before doing that, we will go to the finder and on the home folder, I will create a new folder called Zotero data. And I will give the location of this folder in Zot file preferences. So select custom location and give the path of Zotero data. And I will select this option of subfolder and keep it as percent %c. Percent %c means that the subfolder will be subdivided according to the collections that is in my Zotero data folder subfolders will be created of the same name as there are collections in my Zotero. After a while, I will tell you what exactly collections mean. So once this is done, we will go to the renaming rules tab. That is the third tab. And we will change the format here. So what we want is we want the author then year and then title. Here by default the three parts are separated by underscore but I don't like underscores so I will remove the underscores. And same thing I will also do for patents.
So once this is done, I will select replace blanks. So what this will do is this will take the title and replace the blanks in the title with underscores. rest of the things are as it is this maximum number of authors I will select it to one and since there is only one author so no need of putting at all in advanced settings we don't we know ne don't need to change anything next we'll go to the MD notes preferences in MD notes preferences I want all my markdown files in a single file not in split files so markdown files are basically the link between Zotero and Obsidian here I will select the export directory where MD notes will save the markdown files so before that I'll go to the home folder and Zotero data here I will create one subfolder titled MD notes and I will give its path here One more thing we have to specify is where should be our templates folder. So for that inside this MD notes folder I am going to create another folder called templates. And give its path here. So all our markdown files for one paper will be saved in a single file inside this MD notes folder using this template. So for templates, what we have to do is we have to go to the site of MD notes click on quick start guide go to advanced configuration select templates and default templates so our template file should be named exactly like what is mentioned here so I will select the first one I will copy it then I will open text edit and inside my templates folder I will create a file with the name that I just copied click on save so here inside Zotero data MD notes and templates I have my template file now go back to the website scroll down I'll find the sample template here these are the placeholders or tags I'll copy them for now and I will put it in my template file later I'll show you that some of these placeholders or tags are not actually needed and I will show you what all tags I am using for my own research purposes 
so this much for this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please like and share my videos with your friends and relatives thank you for watching